Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. Uh, it'll be awesome having you as a subscriber. Um, I do have a bunch of team packs that are still for sale. As a matter of fact, most of them are still for sale. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go check out my last video. Thank you to Lance and to St. Louis Cardinals and Blue Jays fan. Um, but yeah, like I have just these team packs. Uh, go check out my last video. I can link to it also. Uh, most of them are $5 per pack, three pack minimum. But there's some awesome stuff. And like I said, most of the packs are still available. And I would love to clear them out. And if you buy like five packs for $5, or actually six packs, six packs, you get a seventh free. And you buy 10, you get two extra. Anyway, I have some throwback packs here. Uh, there is some potential for some really cool stuff like Griffey's, uh, Jeter's, maybe an autograph, some Yadi Molina, stuff like that. So let's see if we can pull something really, really cool. Uh, odds are not great, but odds are never great. Like I always say, you are one pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the packs anyway, so let's pull some fire. Um, also, we'd love to live the intergalactic dream. That would be fantastic. This is 2004, Donruss Studio. There is a chance at a Yadi Molina rookie and or a Yadi Molina rookie autograph. Also, I think Pujols has an autograph, so there is some cool potential. Um, so let's see what we get. Anyway, as I always like to say, one pack away from greatness. So I don't know if this is a spacer. Um, I've opened some of these packs before and there was like a weird spacer, which is annoying because you think you got something cool. Anyway, um, these rookie cards do not have the RC logo. Um, yeah, and it does, it is a big old spacer. It gets you excited for nothing. There's a Sean Green, Jason Schmidt, and a Gary Carter. So that was one quick pack. Um, anyway, but still cool looking cards. Studio uh, Studio was a nice looking set. Every single year that they made Studio, I mean, I think there was a couple of years that were kind of ugly, but honestly, most of the time, pretty solid, pretty solid stuff. Uh, like you, like you said, you know, not much uh, going on in that pack. Um, we got a 2005. Also looking for autographs. Like I said, one pack away from greatness. I have turned more to some of the older packs because Series 1 is just so brutal. It is, it is like, I'm going to be honest, it is brutal, 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 brutal. It's like Wanderer Bust, overprinted like crazy. Anyway, so here's your Studio 2005 design. We do have something in here, and it's going to be a numbered card for Shershkowitz, Bernie Wells, Clinton Pagody, and that is a Rod Carew numbered out of 20. Look at that. That is super cool. I mean, I'm not sure... How much something like that goes for. I did pull uh, Chipper Jones for a break that was super low numbered. Um, I'm not sure how much it went for or whatever, but it did go to a person. Um, I think it went to RJ's collect sets. But anyway, there's a Rod Carew numbered out of 20. It's hard to beat that. Um, obviously, an autograph would beat that, but Mike Piazza. Then there's the back of your studio cards. So these will probably end up going into... Um, I imagine these are going to go into team packs in the future. And I am going to keep uh, pumping those team packs because I would love to um, just clear them on out. You know me. I like opening packs and then clearing out the cards so it does not become a money pit. So there is your studio again. Tejada with a weird looking force smile. The Bernie Williams, Delman Young, and a Chavez. So studio... Has not done a ton for us except for that number of card. Uh, we got top stars of the game. You could find like a cool relic or autograph, I believe. Um, there are odds on the back of the pack. So this is a, this is one of those weird sets. So let's see. We have a Lyle Overbay rookie card. Rookie card. I'll throw you in the pile there. Troy O'Leary. First time I've ever opened this set, by the way. Brian Giles. We got ourselves an A-Rod Spotlight. It's a cool looking card. So a lot of these older sets, like the bigger cards, are like parallels of stars more than they are rookies. So there's a Spotlight of A-Rod. So some of them, they could be worth a ton of money and I won't even realize it. Um, Bob Gibson, Spotlight there. So let me just leave that up just in case it happens to be worth a ton of money. Now, a lot of this is going to be me looking up values later. Um, so I apologize if I uh, if I do not react as awesomely as I should. 
If I pulled like some monster card and I don't even realize it, I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna be like, why did you not react accordingly? Because you know, sometimes you gotta look stuff up. It's not like when you're pulling like a wander parallel where you just know sometimes. Ooh, this is a cool looking set right here. So there is Stadium Club, Chuck Knobloch. Pedro Martinez, this is the first time I've ever seen this set for sure. Ruben Rivera, a Felix Heredia, John Burkett, a Juan Gonzalez, a Dante Bichette, Mike Hampton, Pat Henkin, and then a checklist. So we got a bunch of four league cards and then a bunch of a whole bunch of nothing on the rest on the back side. But the prime rookie, Ruben Rivera, who did not be a prime rookie. A anyway, let me sleeve up that Pedro. Um, would have been better if there was a anyway, but there is a Pedro there. Alright, next up, I'm gonna go archives. 2014, there could be a major league movie autograph in here, and that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic if there was. But there is a Todd Frazier right off the top of the top of the pack. Necro Sandoval. Oh, we got something. Look at this. A Dylan Bundy. Dylan Bundy. Second year card. And it is numbered out of 199. So, always cool to get a numbered card. Then it's got a sh cool shine to it. Could you imagine if it, nothing against Dylan Bundy, but could you imagine if that had been a bigger, bigger player? George Brett, Kadire, and Carl Crawford. So let me throw it up here, because it is a numbered card. Okay, Upper Deck Authentics 2002. This uh, goes with the 1989 Upper Deck design. There's like negative flipper, flipper things or whatever. So Andrew Jones here. Jack Jones, Gabe Kapler, there's a Jeter, and then a rookie of Michael Crudale. So I'm not sure if that is the regular Jeter or the the flip. I have to look at it. I'm going to have to look at it online. But either way, getting a Jeter is not, not terrible. If it is the, the good Jeter, like the really good Jeter, then I'll probably jump out of my chair later. Um, but at the moment, then we got a uh, 98. Stadium Club, Never Compromise, was their uh, slogan back there. I could have done my research before that. There's so many random packs, though, that uh, I don't know what it is about this weird blue foil stuff here, man. I don't know why they chose that. Got a Pep Harris, Mark McLemore, a Kurt Manwaring. So we're not getting the stars at the moment. Mike Jackson, Ken Caminiti, Gary Guy, Eddie, Sean Green, he Dalgu. So that was pretty lackluster. I'm gonna be honest, that was a lackluster pack. You know, I, know I apologize to anyone if I've insulted you, but you know, lackluster. 99 Stadium Club. We did compromise. I feel like on that pack, I felt like we compromised pretty hard. Anyway. There we go. That's better. That's better lettering this time. Okay, Sean Green again. Bill Spires. Ooh, did we get something special? Oh, is, that just, is that just a checklist? Ugh. Thought it was something special. Bartolo Colon. Cool Jeter. Sleeve up the Jeter. I don't think there's anything special about it. Just a regular Jeter base or Ruski. And then a Darren Oliver. So that's a cool shot of Darren Oliver. I mean, the Stadium Club photography is always fantastic. It's hard to go wrong with that. Um, but we're hunting for, for we're hunting for valuable cards. It's not just like a scenic tour through cool stuff. So Finest Series 1, uh, 1999. So we're looking for something we're looking for some of the finest stuff available in Finest. We're also hoping that the Brickaruski will not be Brickaruski. Alright, so we got a Alright. Oh hello. Goodness gracious. Troy Gloss. Sensations, rookie of Alex Escobar, got a checklist, fever, team finest, Sosa. Oh, look at that, numbered out of 1,500, there's only 1,500 of those. Look at that, Sammy Sosa, out of 1,500. And then, we got ourselves a finest regular Sosa, got a A-Rod, Hard to go wrong with some of the biggest stars in the game. I'm gonna sleeve up the uh, the big names. Here we go: Kenny Rogers, Roger Clemens, 
for Ryman, Melton, Barry Larkin, Kevin Young, Dante Bichette, and a J. Bell. So it is weird that they produced all these cards before they figured out how to do the finish correctly. And they just have like this big old protective coating on them, which is like really distracting. Um, but that's just how they did it back then. Just how they did it. So we got Stadium Club this time. It's 2002. I believe, I believe that's the Joe Mauer year. I could be incorrect. It wouldn't be the craziest thing ever if I was incorrect. We got a Pokey Reese. A Larry Walker. Mike Hampton. Christian Guzman. We got the Griffey. Got a Cole Griffey and a Jimmy Rollins. So we are yet to pull anything monstrous out of Stadium Club yet. Um, got some cool base cards, but you know, base cards only have so much value. Anyway. So next up, back to Finest we go. 2000 Series 2 Finest. All right. So we got ourselves a carry wood. See, they kind of resolved the whole coding thing by this year. Carry wood, Carl Everett, Adam Everett, Roger Clemens, Andy Ash, B, Sean Green. We got this is like a Sean Green hot opening here. Ben Davis, Kenny Lofton, Scott Rowland, Delano De Shields, Andrew Jones. We got a three thousand hits of Gwyn. Darren Erstadt. So let's check to see if there's anything. They are cool cards regardless. But like nothing numbered, nothing seems to be. Anyway, just the finest moments. So that would just seem to be a normal pack. I could be wrong. You let me know if I missed anything. 2000 Series 1. And this one. We got a Juan Encarnacion. Got ourselves a Chad Hermanson, Canerco, Ruben Mateo, Greg Maddox. And then that looks like a cool refractory kind of thing, but it is a of Rob Thick. So not the not the big name that you're looking for for sure out of that. Um, Alright, we are doing 97 finest. Series two. So ideally you're gonna get one of those kind of refractory things, but in a huge name, like a huge, huge, like a Griffey or a Jeter. All right, we got ourselves a blue chips of Wendell McGee Jr. A Andy Bennis blue chips. Got a Cardos by area competitors. Chris Hoyles, a Brett Butler, and then a Bobby Bonilla with the Florida Marlins then. So man, these finest have not been they have not been the finest yet. They have not been the finest. Alright, we got a couple more to go. 96 finest series two. Problem is with these packs, um, there's only like six cards or seven cards, you know, so it's it's hard, man. But we got something here. Maybe it'll be something awesome. Let's hope it's something awesome. So we got a Roger Salkett. Got a Ron Gant finest edition. So not the name we're looking for there. Mike Stanley, Albert Bell, Jason Schmidt, and then a Ken Hill. So we did get one of those cool kind of foily kind of cards. Um, all right, we got the Leaf Limited 1995 Series 1. So again, back then you're looking for things, you're looking for, you know, the Jeter kind of style and looking for the Griffey, one of, you know, you're looking for the big, 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 big names. As all, I mean, you're always looking for big names. I mean. So we got Alan Trammell. We got ourselves a Charles Johnson. Then we got an A-Rod. We got ourselves an A-Rod and it's 95. Is this his rookie year? Is this his rookie card? You have to look. That could be his rookie card, for all I know. It could be an A Rod rookie, but either even if, even if it's not, it's a second year then. I mean, Brady Anderson and Tim Raines, man, these are super cool looking cards, man. Goodness gracious, look how cool those are! 
That was nice. We got an A-Rod out of there. All right. Clear Platinum coming up next. 2004. We're looking for, I think, Yadi Molina rookie card, I believe. I do apologize. I mean, there's only so much research I'm willing to do before I open a baseball card pack. I'm be there's a lot of people who will be like, no, no, do all the research. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. All right, Lou Ford, Edgar Martinez, Joe Caridi, Eric Gagne. There's a graphic. Unsung Heroes, Matt LaCroix. Not the name. I don't even know that name. And a Luis Gonzalez. So, did not feel like that was super platinum to me. But, uh, still cool. All right, we've got two packs to go. We're going to go Stadium Club, and then we'll finish off with Finest. So, 1999 Stadium Club. Now, there are odds, so you can pull stuff. And I think it's just really hard to pull stuff, but it is possible. I'm not going to get psyched out by the checklist in the middle again. Jose Canseco, Lankford, Andy Bennis. There is the checklist. There's the Chipper Jones. Future star Adrian Beltre. I don't think that's his rookie. I think it's maybe his second year. Could be his rookie, though. That could be his rookie, for all I know. Could it does say future star. So we shall see. And then we got ourselves a Frank Thomas. That's a cool shot of Frank Thomas. Looks like he's in the uh, on-deck circle. So that's cool. And then last pack. Magic. One pack away from greatness. Finest. Six cards. Pull like a Monster Jeter or a Monster Griffey, huh? How about that? And then I'll do the recap. So we got ourselves a Jaime Boluma blue chip. Got a Edgar Renteria blue chip. Troy Percival hurler. Jermaine Dye blue chip. Rocky Coffin and then a Jeff D'Amico. So that was not the that was not the final pack that you were looking for for sure, Stoic. That was not it. All right, let's go through the recap. I may have pulled a monster and not even like been aware of it and if i did apologize but we did get the rod crew that one's out of 20 um beltre future star chipper jones we got the a-rod which may or may not be a rookie uh, ron gant we got the griffey this one is out of 1500 uh sammy sosa Derek jeter pedro martinez dylan bundy numbered card out of 199 bob gibson this is jeter which uh May or may not be the negative one. The A Rod Spotlights, Griffey, Fick, that's a refractor, A Rod Finest, Sosa Gems, and then a Lyle Overbit. You let me know how you think I did. If I missed a $1,000 card, please let me know. Either way, take care and have a good one. Okay, bye.